So, I wanted to start this video off by uh, introducing somebody I've actually never met. Um, I get messages all the time from people who like need guidance, motivation for literally anything, or they just speak their mind to me, even if they don't know me, or if they do know me personally, they still do, but uh, there's one guy in particular that I've talked to many times, he's bought a bunch of my things, I've sent him stuff, um, and I've actually traded messages with him and I ha have his number now, but um, he really, like, it's hard, it's hard to put in the words, it's, like, he trusts me with something very, very personal that I like to share with you guys, and it literally hits me right in the heart every time I read it, and it just big, brings me back to when I first started Raw, and brings me back to where all the dark times I had with things in my past. And for him to share that with me, it really, it just really hits at home. And it just makes me love what I do even more. And it makes me even more passionate, more motivated, and he needs help. And I'm going to help him. And I want you guys to help. He, he sent me this message through Snapchat, and I'd like to read it to you guys. His name is John Mancini. I may pronounce his last name wrong, but I, I think that's how you pronounce it, but that's not the point. Oh. He sent me this, and it was not like I was asking for any appreciation or anything. He literally just sent it to me. January 3rd and lately I've been putting things off because my priorities are somewhere else where they shouldn't be and it's been bothering me literally every day to just make sit down in here and make this video and I just want before I even read it I just want to say thank you John I'm gonna do the best I can for you and you literally have motivated motivated me like so much just from even past things that you sent me that literally have made me tear up. Every time I read this, I, I tear up. But I'm gonna read it to you guys. So it says, yo bro, first off, I wanted to say happy new year, bro. I'm excited to see what this new year has, co has coming for you. I see big things for Raw, 100%, and I'm excited to see what happens. I'm actually sending this to you because you, as you saw that thing with my dad, he had a post where he made a video of him doing a wad, a workout of the day, that he made up for his dad that passed away. And doing that, it takes a lot of like passion to make that and think about that. And I, I know exactly like how it feels when he makes that type of thing and just goes for it and works out and puts his mind on something. And when I saw that post, it really, it really inspired me too to think about things that I've done in my past and I just know it's really hard to do. Very hard. So he said, honestly, I wanted to attempt to start something called I Promise. But with my jobs and financial situation, I can't say it will happen. Yet I wanted to see if by any chance you would have or want to have a t-shirt that says it. I'd like to explain what it means to me before anything else my father was actually not the greatest guy. He was a drug addict and an alcoholic. But it all happened after he got in an accident at work years ago. He got addicted to pres prescription drugs and just kind of went south. I lived with him for a while and during that time I had some not so great moments with him. He committed suicide on New Year's Eve and it tore me apart literally. I was extremely depressed, blamed myself. Even after everything he did for me, I was a wreck. I made a promise at his wake right before I left the casket that it was that I would be someone special, someone who was going to make a difference. 
Now it could be in a sport, my job, as a father, it could literally be anything, but I made that promise and I've stuck to it. I've stopped drinking, I've stopped doing drugs, and literally focus on making my life 100% better. I just want to make this promise and keep it. So I wanted to see if you would make a shirt so we could spread that to everybody. People can make a promise to themselves to be something great. I want, to, I want the word to spread and I want people to be as hungry as I am to be successful. You have the platform, my friend, and I know you're a good person to go to. Keep in mind, he has never ever talked to me in person or I've never met him. It's all through just raw. Please do not think you have to say yes. Believe me, I will happily accept, I will happily accept a no and still think of you as a very good friend. Just to keep it in mind and give it some thought, and then after that, he gave me his number and we traded some texts. And just literally every time I read it, it's just like taking me back to where dark times have happened to me. And it's just like, I can't get that shit out of my fucking mind. And when somebody comes to me like that, I can't help but just feel for them and like take that to heart. That they came to me, he doesn't even know me. And I just feel like I want to help him. I want to do something for him. And I want this to spread. I want, I'm gonna express myself and I want you to do the same when you see this. Make a video, tell, tell everybody how you feel or something you just wanna get off your chest, something you wanna do, hold yourself accountable. That's why I'm making this video. I'm holding myself accountable. Everything I do from now on, it's gonna be 110%, no matter what it is. I don't care if it's talking to manufacturers at night, asking all the questions that I can. I don't care if it's a relationship or anybody that I'm talking to. I'm going to give them 100, 110%. And I promise that. I promise to be a better man myself. I promise when a kid comes to me and he needs help with lifting in here that I'm going to do my best every time. I don't care if there's 50 coming to me every three seconds. I'm going to do the best I can to make them a better person, a better young man. It doesn't matter if it's a girl, boy, whatever. I'm going to do the best I can just because I... I just feel so motivated just from this, just from this right here. It's just from my phone. That's it. That's all it takes to just get up and do something that you want to do. It's hard to just sit here and talk in front of this camera. There's nobody here. It's just me. It's just me trying to express myself. It's, try, it's me expressing how I feel after holding fucking shit in. I don't want, and I hate when people do that shit. I hate it. I, I just like, why bullshit around stuff and not say how you feel. I'm done with it. I'm holding myself accountable now just because of John. He's, he made me a better person today just because I want to sit down in front of this camera and hopefully motivate more people just like you. John, you, you literally have... Uh, I, can't, I can't even explain it. I, I've read that thing, I, I swear, a hundred times. And when I made Raw, it didn't even come to me that I would ever have that type of connection with anybody I've never met. Like, I, I've never thought that I would get motivated by little th other things, and I would never imagine that I would get messages like that when I started this brand. And I started with just a thought, and that's where you're at. You just have a thought, and you have something that motivates you, and you have something that you want to bring to this world. You don't need fucking money to do that, bro. You don't need it. I didn't have money. That's why how this started. And I, I want this to spread. I want people to share this. I want people to make their own I Promise videos. And what I, what I want to promise is that I just, want, I just want to be the best I can in everything. Like I'm tired of going halfway or depending on somebody else or waiting for shit to fucking happen. I'm, I'm tired of sitting back like the past couple of days I went to the gym multiple times a day because I was tired of just sitting I was like in my mind reading this thing That reading this messages that you sent me. It's like on my mind like I, sh I need to be doing shit Like I need like I promise to be a better person But if I promise that I can't just be sitting on the couch at night for like five hours looking up YouTube videos I can look up everything I want, but it doesn't matter at the end in the end It doesn't matter. I have to be doing shit like I have to be fucking doing shit that I promise that I will be the best that I can be. Every idea I have, I will lay out there. I will make more videos just like this and hope that I can reach to other 
individuals that need help like John, like just needed somebody to talk to, I will be that person. I'll be there 110%. It doesn't matter what it's about, what it, what it is. Uh, every, every rep in the fucking gym is gonna have my full concentration until I reach my goals. I'm tired of not reaching my goals. I'm, I'm tired of seeing people reach things faster than me and I, I love seeing that, but when it comes down to me, I feel like I haven't been working as hard as, as I should. And now I'm holding myself accountable. I'm done with that shit. I'm, I'm done with being half of what I could be sometimes instead of going and attacking that shit that I know I can't. Like, I'm, I'm done being with the person I was yesterday. Put it that way. I'm ready to be the person I want to be. One of the greatest things I've ever heard is that the best and greatest ideas are in a graveyard. On all the graveyards across the world. Because people die with their ideas and just never live with them and never let the world see the light of their ideas. So the greatest things that you've ever heard, like from like Apple, the biggest thing that's like in the world pretty much right now, I, iPhones are everywhere. That was the idea. Steve Jobs went for it and just pursued it and just went after it. So there's people out there right now that might have that same idea, but they're not expressing themselves like this. They're not getting that idea out. They're not going and attacking those goals. They're not giving 110%. So what happens is when they die, their dreams die with them. Their ideas die with them. And I don't want that shit. I don't want that. I, I want to, everything I feel, I want to tell that person in that moment. I'm not holding back anymore. I'm not. And I promise to be the person that I actually want to be. A family member, a friend, uh, uh, just overall better young man. I want that for everybody. Whether woman, boy, young, old, I don't give a shit. Like, it doesn't matter. I'm tired of seeing people hold shit in and, and not expressing themselves, man. Like, I've, I've held in so much for so long and just because I didn't want to get in front of this camera. Because I didn't know if I could do it. But I, right now I'm saying, fuck it. I'm not that person yesterday anymore. I'm the person tomorrow. I'm the person the next day. I'm going to change every day, but I'm going to go from here to here every single day that I'm alive. Whether it's being a coach, uh, like I said, a friend, family member, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for you. It doesn't mean if anybody. Be yourself, speak your mind, and express yourself. Don't hold anything back anymore. I'm not, and I don't want you to either. What do you promise?